Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new here and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have a fun one for you guys. And I know that this foundation has been out forever. Well, what well, feels like forever. It's forever in makeup time. Y'all know how I feel about that. But I really wanted to do a full day wear test on the Rare Beauty um, what is it called? Anyways, the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer. I wanted to do a full day wear test on that. Now, when I picked this up in store, I was looking at looking at it in the lights in the store, and I was like, ooh, that looks like my match. And then I came home and looked at it in the lighting at home, and I was like, oh, no, I think I got the wrong one. But then I put it on, and it's the right one. And I got the shade 250W, and I got the same concealer of 250W, because as you can see, they're significantly different. And I'm not uh, no longer a fan of the super light under eye or concealed look anymore. So we are gonna go ahead and just apply these. I've worn it once and on Sunday, and I loved the way it looked on my skin. So I am going to be applying it with a sponge just because that's how I personally like to use it. And so, yeah, and we're using my favorite sponge, which is super affordable, is the e.l.f. sponge. So let's go ahead and apply this foundation. Now, when using this, there is one thing that I always remember Juicy Jash saying, and she was saying, make sure you shake this before you use it. So that's what I, that's why we're shaking it so much. And as you can see, it does look a little bit dark and a little bit orange, but once I start to blend it out, it matches perfectly. I asked Brian, like, does this match? He's like, what did you mean? Like, what do you mean? I was like, can you see a makeup line? Okay, so that is actually one layer and I do have a, like a lot to cover up today because my face is healing from some breakouts. But as you can see, like the color is not terrible. Like could I have gone a little bit lighter? Yeah, I could have, but now whenever I, like this is my shade all year round. So it's not bad, I can make it work all year round, but whenever I get darker, it'll match perfectly. So um, I just wanna take one more like swipe on my cheeks just to cover up these breakouts that are healing. Now going in with the concealer. So here's what I like, it's light, but it's not too light. And I love that these companies are coming out with concealers that are like the perfect match for the foundation. Like you're not having to like buy the foundation and then scavenge around for the same, like the same brand of concealer. Like they're actually making it where it's a tiny bit lighter than the foundation. Like I love that, all here for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest of my makeup. And you guys know that I like to time lapse, time lapse that. But I mean, the concealer is good. It definitely just brightens a little bit. Maybe I should build it up just a little bit just to see how it builds up because you can still kind of see my dark circles right here. So let's just do like one more little dot and see how it builds up. Oh, that built that built up really pretty and really nicely and actually added coverage that is pretty like this is just so pretty on the skin so i just want you guys to see it without any other makeup on real quick So yeah, I really like how this builds up. I feel like everything builds up so nice, so effortlessly, and also like kind of weightless. So like you can't actually feel this on your skin. But now we are gonna go ahead and start finishing up our makeup, you guys. And of course, time lapse. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I have not set my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and set with you guys on camera. And then just push it in. All right, you guys, okay, then we're gonna go ahead and go on throughout our day. I've actually finished my makeup at 10, like at 10.05, I was done with my base products. So at 10.05, it's currently like 10.20 though that I've set my face. So from 10 o'clock till probably 10 o'clock at night. So let's hope for a 12 hour wear test today. But yeah, that is that. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get on with our day. Hey guys, so this is the one and only check-in. It's 9.30, so it's been just under, it's been 12 and a half hours, just about, just under 12 and a half hours, um, or 13 hours, just, un whatever, just under 13 hours. And this is actually what it's looking like. So it didn't wear off, and that's because I was in and out of my mask all day. So I think it looks pretty good. I ended up doing favor. King ended up having strep, well, favor deliveries. King ended up having strep, and that's why I just really didn't get to check in, but... I feel like it wore pretty good. I just finished doing a stretch video. I have no idea what's going on with this right here. I ended up doing a stretch video, so I didn't really work out today. I even laid down for a while, for like an hour, and just closed my eyes. Didn't sleep, but I did close my eyes, and everything lasted really good. And even when I took off my lashes, I didn't feel too awkward without them because the foundation is so natural and pretty. So yeah, I highly recommend these these this foundation and concealer i like it with both setting powders i like it with the elf halo glow one a little bit more just because it don't look as powdery but yeah i do recommend these i'm sorry that this freaking wear test was kind of a fail both attempts at it so yeah thanks you guys for watching all right you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and let me know what else what other foundations you would like to see a wear test on okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.